Alright, hello everyone, I'm Spain here, and today I'm gonna play some, uh, Risk. Cause, uh, you know, why not? And I decided, why not also just make it so that the enemies are a lot? Let's go! <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Fourth player control the little army. Where, where are my people? Oh. Uh, I get to assign my units, whoever I want. I'm going to assign them right there. Ooh, may also want to... Hmm... That place is going to get invaded by a lot of people. That one is just a goner. Eee, that one is your... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to take uh, South America. Here we go. Uh, I'm good. Oh, wait. Draft is over now. No, all my units are there. I can do what I want. I'm going to try to absolutely destroy this person. Just straight up success. Nothing but win. Okay. And now, I can also do a quick little strike the side. Oh, I failed. Alright. Because that's what... I can actually roll the die next time. Is that next time? Now it's a movement phase where I kind of, you know, move around a few units. I'm going to get these border units to be very strong. And I got a bonus card because I took away someone's land. Here we go. Good. Not good. Oh, they also now have a territory. I'm gonna use all my units to put all my force. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say I was gonna put all my units in force into breaking up that area, but I guess I don't need to. That is a war zone. I'm, I may lock that place up right there. Alright, so since I own this area, I get bonus whatevers, so. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that. And I'm gonna buff that one area, make it strong. Uh. And actually, I'm going to make this go to only one. Then I'm going to add another unit there. And launch a quick invasion on that location. Uh, if you don't know how risk works, uh, essentially, you attack a person. You attack a person. You roll the die. Uh, defenders win on ties. They're defending, so they win on ties. And if you have three units, or it's three units or less that are going to get automatically sent when you do a basic roll like that. So, I sent three units... I sent all my units there because, uh, uh, let me try to do a play by three with a bit more repair battle. So if I grab this, I can drop a die. That only means that two people, if you see right there, go over to that land, drop another one, only one is invading, although the entire army will still be there, and I can drop as many die as I want, including just completely canceling the invasion, but when I do that, have to move three over, and this is essentially my lives, so if I'm going to throw that, they got a six and a six, they beat both of my die. Therefore, I lose two units. And I go again. I got a six and a six. That's a one to one. They take away one. I take away one. And uh, at this point, I can actually just cancel off the invasion. Because I am dying. And th that's not a really good thing when it's yours, like, attacking. And it's like, oh, no. I am dead now. Actually, hold on. I will attack him. Mainly because I have that backup, which I'm going to move forward to the front lines. Uh, oof, that's a... Defeat. Now I can throw one die because I only have one unit left there. And like that, that's how you waste an army. Alright, now you get to the movement phase where I'm going to just send all my fortifications to this one location. I see no issues that'll happen if they invade that one bit of land. You know, wait for the AI to go. Uh, who has reclaimed that area, which uh, I'm pretty sure green won't sand for. Yup. Green is constantly breaking up their uh, territory. Uh, so there's a territory here, all these areas. Territory here, territory here, here, here. Uh, and this area as well. Not sure if you can really see the outlines there, but they're there. Okay, this is going to be a war zone in a bit. Although I do need to kill one enemy, so... Uh, to get my card. So you get a card every turn that you kill an enemy, and when you combine them, throw them in the middle, you, you get bonus units. Uh, kind of helpful. So, depending on how many territories you get, it's how many territories you get, divided by three, and then any uh, territory bonus you have, that will give you how many units you have. Let me blitz that one. Easy dub. Let me uh, kind of balance that number out a bit. And just wait. That was my attack. I got one territory, therefore I get one card. When I get a match three, that means I am able to get a bonus units. 
Although, I think I'm going to hold off on that, because uh, you can get them stacked. If you kill a player, you steal all their cards, and, and it's just generally good. Actually, speaking of stealing cards, I may want to try and steal reds, because uh, if you look at the map, they're almost dead. Ooh, orange is, uh... Orange is making a pretty strong invasion. Alright, they send all their units there. I could try to get orange. No, I can try to go for Europe. Everyone here is a bit weak, because that's like... They're doing all the war there. I mean, I might as well just, uh... Take them out. Alright, that was good. I'm gonna now send that one to there. It's like the Europe-ish country on the game, it's called. Uh, game. <laughs> Alright, there we go. I've now done a quick blitz invasion. Did I win that one? Yes, I did. And uh, now, I've just taken over all that land. Which is probably gonna get taken away, but I, I made a good impact here. I wish I had like an actual thing where it tells me where things are. Alright. Uh, the two reds are still fine. No one has actually made an attack. Uh, tried to re come back from this attack on this land, so uh, I, I might as well just kind of yoink that. I mean, like, come on, AI. There's so many of you. There's one of me. Get, get some plans going. Anyway, I've conquered a continent. This is a continent. Alright. You gonna do that? Skip. Uh, I can actually get that and turn into eight units at my draft stage, my first stage. Uh, but I, I'll hold off on that. That one is an elite army because it has 11. Not sure if it actually means anything. It's just like a cool star you get when you're overpowered. Right, now they've just uh, done a quick stab at that area. Which makes sense, because uh, someone having two continents, it's it's a problem. But, speaking of continents, they also have one. Ooh. Currently have too many cards, so no. Whatever will I do? Turn in for 20? <laughs> I guess so. Alright. Let me, uh... Let me do a quick uh, eradication of blue. Quick, easy, destroying everyone. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna attack the big ones first to get those large numbers out of here. And then, I'm gonna kinda curve around and go here. Good. I have 10 left. I'm pretty sure my 10 can take on these 5. I don't know, uh, one, of them, one of the places could easily hold out. Uh, yeah. So, it's gonna continue blitzing all these uh, locations until I have this part of the map. And I may want to also try to secure the everything a bit better, as my army is spread a bit thin. Although I can only move one unit per turn. But, uh, that's blue gone. Oh, never mind, there's a few remnant of blue up there. Alright, now I'm just gonna go to my movement phase, gonna move these four units to, uh, that location, because I need to hold this place well. And I, not, that's probably not, not going to last long, but, uh, you know, I can try. All right, and then purple, or actually red is going to take, oh, blue's just going to fight. Oh, no! What have green, what has green done? They've just become really strong. Maybe I'll just get left alone? Oh, I was left alone. That's awfully convenient, because now I have, uh... A few things, and this will help me destroy blue, that last uh, leaning part of blue, which is going to give me all of their cards. Right? Yeah. So now it's given all the blue cards, and uh, huh, look at that. Alright, I'm too holding too many cards, so uh, I get to turn them in. And uh, this is a quick speed run of this game. It's a, it's a bit bork right here, if you can notice, uh, me absolutely destroying now. Because if you take one player out, you, you get uh, a lot of units if you just don't use your cards. The longer you wait, the uh, more cards you get. I can turn that rule off. Uh, like You can immediately send units after doing the turn, but I won't. I'm just going to do a quick fortification of all these. They can now all attack. Green's going to be an issue. This one, however, uh, I might as well try to get. So, I'm going to continue my attack with my new recruits. Can I wipe out red as well? 
that would be a good idea. Alright, I'm going to do this. Uh, let's do quick. Blow up. Good. Go. Golden. Gonna take that territory. Purple's a strong one. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You know, I, this game is balanced. <laughs> this game is balanced. <laughs> Very balanced. I see no issues with this at all. I'm not willing really to die because, uh, I, it, it takes, it's longer to do this than just attack, attack, attack. Well, that goes that one. And, uh, cool thing about Risk, you can, uh, cool thing about Risk, you can actually go across the, uh, because the, the, sorry to say this, but Earth is round, so you can go around it and, uh, attack like that. And now the person over there, swim went across the sea and over there. And now, they just, uh, get to finish up all the enemies. Hopefully all purple are going to be gone, yeah. Well, that was a strong contender, but, uh, doesn't last very long against this humongous army. Alright. I'm gonna save green for last, as they are going to be the biggest problem. Uh, can I actually do this? Like, do, 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 do. Probably. This is ridiculous. Ah, uh, yes, I would like to get more units than I had before. Oh, that's a nice. Got a nice number of units right there. Alright, gonna. Do, do, do. And, uh, this is, this is how you speedrun Risk, uh, on the computer. PC Risk is how you speedrun it, and uh, it works. This is uh, a game on Steam. If you want to break it like this, uh, you can go get it. I'm pretty confident I have won now at this point because, uh, well, I can get this one, I can get that one, I can get both those in fact. There, unless those 20s are going to hold up uh, pretty strong. Yeah, those 20s could hold up pretty strong, like this 15. The last remnants of the army are. Doing a considerable amount of damage, but uh, I'm still there. All right. Oh, okay. Well, this is just. Um, I was about to like almost get destroyed by them, but I, I guess not. Let me just. Uh, four. Three, two. Now, will this last unit be a super soldier? Let's go see. Dramatic roll. Ooh. Nice. Again. Boom. And that's how you speedrun Risk. RPG Penguin out.